let's get this cracking and get this going. Game's a trip. Had to come up with some money. So that the master guy could teach me that move. And she always yeah. do this bullshit. Mm -hmm. See you later. Yeah. See you soon. Get rich quick. Our herbs are really worth that much. It is. Guess I'll take it. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want. What's that? Man, this is a piece of ass motherfucker drink. That's what he wants. What will you do with such an expensive item? This isn't something for someone as young as you. I know, but I absolutely need it. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Excuse me. What is it? Oh, changed your mind? No. Alright, I'm bringing to him right now. Let me get a couple of these real quick.
Mr. Son. This better be the real deal. <laughs> Guess I'll know after a swig. Now, next. What? There's more? Is there a problem? Because I can stop. I'll do it. Mr. Soren, please. Please teach me your technique. Come back once you have defeated White Tiger of Marshall Hall. Then perhaps I shall teach you. If you're referring to the person at Marshall Hall called White Tiger, then I have already defeated him. What was that? You've defeated him? Yes. So please, teach me your technique. Try catching ten of those chickens. Seriously? If you don't want to... Ah, damn. N no, I'll do it. I just have to catch them, right? Let's see how your skills hold up. Still a ways to go, but it's clear you are your father's son. You knew my father, didn't you? Indeed. This is a photo of him in Bailu Village. Hmm. Is this Iwa with Zhao Sun Ming? So you know about my father and Zhao Sun Ming? Long ago. Fung and I trade together, helping each other to hone our skills. As a result of our training, Fung went on to gain great renown among our fellow martial artists. Many gifted students came to study under him, revering him as their master. Zhao and your father were among them. They got along famously. Under Fung's tutelage, they pushed each other to new limits. Then, several years later, Zhao Sun Ming died mysteriously. But what of Iwa? What became of your father? He fought a man called Lan Di, and he... Oh, I see. Mr. Sun. I'm done for the day. Go back and get some rest. Keep up with your training. You hear me? Got it. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house.
Yeah, maybe, yeah. I shouldn't go in without permission. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Fuck all this. I know it's ain't the daytime, but I need to get the story going. Theo, it's morning. Mm. Right. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey. Hi, Leo. Are you leaving already? I am. Uh, I have to do whatever it takes to get Mr. Soon to teach me his signature move. You're right. Be careful out there, Leo. See you soon. First up, get into a horse stance. Ah, uh, okay. These basic forms need to become second nature. Okay then, here goes nothing. You're in for a rough day today. <laughs> Yes, that's the idea. Yes, then, that's it. Yes, good. Yes, then, 
That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, good. Yes, there. That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, there. That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, because I killed it all. <laughs> it should give me some more fucking points for that anyway. Try catching ten of those chickens. What? Again? <laughs> if you don't want to. Man, just do it, man. Come on, just do it. Hold on to your chickens. I'll do it. Let's see how your skills hold up. Mr. Son. I'm done for the day. Go back and get some rest. Keep up with your training. You hear me? Got it. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. See, this is just, see, this is some shit right here. <laughs> We're gonna play that one game, that QTE thing game, that boxing game, I meant to say. I'll give it a try.
It's a tricky ass shit. One more time. This piece of complicated ass shit. score just one more oh, I'll pass it yeah, I'm gonna head back home
The owl. It's morning. Mm. Right. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Leo. Hmm? See you later. Yeah. See you soon. Here we go again. Rooster steps today. Sorry. You don't know Rooster steps? Well then, today's a big day for you. I guess so. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see how your skills hold up. Chickens coming right up. Mm. Here I go. Let's see how your skills hold up.
Almost ain't had it. It seems you've got the strength. Perhaps it's time to teach you the technique. Please, I promise I'm ready. the gap and strike. Too slow. Quickly close the gap and strike. Begin. Okay. Quickly close the gap and strike. the gap and strike. Getting a big head just because you've done it a few times. I won't. Did that wine have anything to do with my training? You're young. You have to get crafty in order to buy it. You'll never be able to learn a signature move if you give up. And besides, I wanted some good wine. Fine. About the chickens? The body check requires you to swiftly close in on your opponent and then use your body to knock them into the air. You're not quick enough yet, but if you can catch these chickens, you might be able to pull it off. Ah, that makes more sense. But don't think pulling it off once or twice means that you've learned it. Okay. The days ahead will be full of long and arduous training. How did it go? Mr. Sun taught me the technique. He did? That's great. And I was right. Chicken catching was part of the training. So, what kind of move is it? It's called the body check. Sounds powerful. Yeah, 
It's a Baji Chun signature move. Really? Great. Now I can take on those thugs in the hermit's nest. And we can save Yan Xing. Exactly. And once we defeat the thugs, hmm? maybe they'll tell us about my father. Right. They've been targeting stonemasons, so they must know something. Yes. Now, let's get a move on and save Yan Xing. Okay. Get out here. Jeez, you two just never learn. Yan Xing. Careful, Shenhua. <clears throat> I'm gonna beat your friends to a bloody pulp now. Hope you enjoy the front row seat. Keep your distance, Shenhua. Okay. Too slow! Too old! 
go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Put you up to this. I don't know anything. Oh, good. Good things to retry. Who put you up to this? I don't know anything. Yeah, I'm gonna be this motherfucker for the first ten move. Take care of him. Got it. Start talking, motherfucker. Start talking. Hey, you little pipsqueak. Don't think for one second you're better than me just because you beat me. All you did was get lucky. What did you say to me? Well, looky here. On another date with your cute little girlfriend. Don't you two make a cute couple? <laughs> Theo, don't listen to him. He's just trying to goad you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have a question for you. Huh? Why the hell should I answer a little punk like you? Give it up. You have nowhere to run. <clears throat> sure, Ed. Well done. All that's left is to interrogate him. Think you can? I'm going to try. I need to know who he is, and why he attacked this village. I'll help you, Leon. Sounds like a plan. Liu. He hasn't said a thing. I see. I don't think it's gonna be easy to make this guy talk. You got something in mind? Yeah. I'm here too. It'll be fine. Xinhua? I see. Now, answer me. Who sent you? Who's your boss? Boss? No one's the boss of me. You're not going to tell me, are you? What? You think I'm just going to cough it up? You're even dumber than you look, kid. Enough. If you don't tell me, I'll beat it out of you. Is that what you want? <laughs> Are you threatening me? You don't have the stones, kid. I swear, I'll do it. Hey, Ryo. Shenhua. No, Ryo. Just don't. Yeah, but... We'd be no different. Uh... You're right, Shenhua. <laughs> so, what do we do then? Who are you? Who, me? Can't you tell by looking? What? I'm just your friendly neighborhood thug. Yeah. Stop kidding around. I'm asking where you came from. Who the hell are you? First. What? If you want me to answer, say pretty please. Why, you? He's not going to answer us willingly. Damn it. <laughs> Hey, do you know Mr. Yun? You're in? Who the hell's that? Mr. Yun, the stonemason. That is my father. Nope, don't know, don't care.
You guys dropped it, didn't you? He dropped it? Uh, that idiot. Wait, what? Oh, uh, nothing. Huh? You people <laughs> went after all the stonemasons on this list. This motherfucker knows something. Spit it out. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know nothing about no stonemasons or that piece of paper. Are you sure? Look, I don't know what I don't know. What's your plan? What do you want? Why did you target this village? Why? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? I'm the one asking the questions. Now answer me, damn you! Oh, look at you acting like you're all grown up. You're not even a man yet, boy. What? Leo, don't let him get to you. I know, damn it. <laughs> it looks like your little girlfriend has more brains and wit than you. Guess we know who wears the pants, huh? You piece of... Leo. Could you all wait outside? You too, Leo. Are you sure? I'll just be a minute. Trust me. Okay. He's all yours. Hey. Hmm? You think I'm afraid of a little girl like you? Shenhua? Shenhua, I'm coming in. Uh, uh, Shenhua, what did you... He says he'll tell us everything. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Well then, let's hear it. Talk. I said talk. Why did you come to Bai Lu? You want to go for round two? No, no ma'am. Then talk. At first, we were ordered to search for a mirror made out of some kind of special stone. I forgot what it was called. But we couldn't find the damn thing no matter where we looked. Is that why you targeted the stonemasons? I've been... I don't hear an answer. Ring the bell, yo. Okay, okay, I'll talk! Go on. When we reported back about the mirror, our next order was to kidnap a stonemason. I knew it. So you took my father? You kidnapped Mr. Yuan? Yuan. Yeah, sounds familiar. He, he was the only one that could carve that whatchamacallit rock. Phantom Riverstone. Where did you take my father? Where is he now? We handed him off to the other guys. Where did they take him? I, I don't know, I swear! The thing is, our gang has several hideouts in a town along the Lixiang River. I don't know where they all are. Oh no. This can't be happening. You better not have laid a finger on him. No, no, he's fine, I swear! They said to hand him over in one piece. No injuries, no scratches. Father... Who are you? My name's Yin Lang. I'm just a common thug. Well, maybe not common, but you get my drift. I still can't believe I caved into this girl. You were easy. I've had a harder time breaking chopsticks. You win. Do what you want with me. Have at it! You turned around quick. What's up with this girl anyway? She's absolutely brutal! Speaking of, what exactly did you do to this guy, Shenhua? Oh, you want to know? I can give a demonstration. 
No, no more. Please, free, please, even. Shenhua. Who ordered you? Was it that creepy looking guy with the hunchback? No, not him. Our orders came from higher up. So who are the higher ups? I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? No, really. I honestly don't know. You think I'm going to fall for that? Ding, ding. So you do want some more? No! I'm telling you the truth! I swear on my life! When we talked to them, we weren't even allowed to see their faces! What? And if we didn't comply, they would have killed us on the spot! That skinhead guy is just a watchdog. He was there to keep an eye on us. Is he Chi Yu Men? Hard to say. It's not like we could just ask him. We just kept our mouths shut and followed orders. You know, search for the mirror and its stonemason. What did you tell him? Not much. I just gave him intel on the bridge. Wait, the Verdant Bridge? Why would you... What's so special about the Verdant Bridge? What do you know about it? Tell us! Beats me! Never cared in the first place! In fact, what do I care now? There's no turning back for me anyway! <laughs> Come to think of it, nothing matters anymore! <laughs> you piece of... Take it easy. If you want to know that bad, go talk to the old hag. Old hag? You mean Elder Yeth? Uh, sounds about right. If you care about her, then you better get going. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You know that Chai guy? He should be at that old lady's place right about now. If I were you, I'd leave now. I'm telling you, Chai is one sick puppy. He'll go to any lengths to get what he wants. Even to a sweet little old lady. <laughs> Damn it! Leo, we have to go to Elder Yes' house right now. We got all we need to know. We have to hurry to Elder Yes. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Mr. Wong, Mr. Liu, we're done with him. You can let him go now. What? You're not seriously thinking about letting him go, are you? The longer he stays in the village, the more trouble he will cause. And there's no guarantee that his friends won't come for him. Oh yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's hurry. Damn bitch ass house. Yeah, that's the guy for um for the first Shen Moon. for a while, but now I can sleep easy thanks to you. Although I should take a page out of your book and start cleaning up around here. I see. I need to get to Elder Ye's house. Are you getting medicine from her? Something like that. Ah, whatever. It's next to the bell tower. It's the biggest house in the village square, so you can't miss it. Got it. Thanks a lot. Oh, that one, okay. It should be this one right here. Hope so. Yeah. Elder, yeah. 
If it isn't Shen Hua. Oh, and the young man from Japan. Come to ask about the Verdant Bridge again? We have. And as I've told you, it's ancient history. It has nothing to do with you. Or does it? The Phoenix Mirror. How did you get this? Uh -huh. My father left it for me. It's what brought me to this village. Mm. Tell us about the Verdant Bridge, please. Sue and Soon both told us you would know more. Ah, so you've spoken to them? Yes. It was over 70 years ago now. 1910, the second year of the Shren Tong Emperor, and I was but a girl. An Imperial envoy was sent from the capital to the village. The whole village came together and built a new bridge so as to welcome him. And that's the Verdant Bridge. It was a hot summer afternoon. Sue Swan and I were trying to get a glimpse of the envoy and his troop. We could hardly contain ourselves as we waited near the bridge. At last, they appeared. They were resplendent. I can still picture them clear as day. The envoy came to command the greatest stonemason to make a set of mirrors of phantom river stone. And who was that? Well, phantom river stone can only be found here in Bailu. And of the stonemasons here, the Ren name became known to the capital. They were the family that was chosen to make the special mirrors for the Emperor. The envoy gave the design for the mirrors to Yuren's grandfather. That must have been the mirror design we found at the house. Which matches the pattern in the photo that we found at Man Yuan Temple. And the relief we found at the quarry. This pattern is everywhere. Listen carefully. Find the six tokens here, then climb the bell tower. The bell tower? There are six tokens that serve as keys. You have to find them all. Do. 
doesn't look out of the ordinary. This could be an... Elder, yeah. What is it? A token. There's a picture of alcohol drawn on it. That's what we need. This is useless. I need to find the tokens. There's nothing inside. This is useless. There's nothing inside. Nothing out of the ordinary. A scale. Maybe they used it to weigh herbs? This design. A token. Did you find something? A token with a moon design. That's it. All right, now we get somewhere. Isn't it? Dried herbs and nothing. found a token here. What? What's the matter? It's a token with a fist on it. Looks like you found it. All right, three more left. I don't know where it's really. I'm gonna just search every single one of these motherfuckers until everything's searched. Until I get everything. Oh, what man. A 
people can. This doesn't work. Sword design. Yes, that's it. This is useful. There's a token here. What? What is it a picture of? It's a crane design. That's it. Good find. We have got uh, one more to go. Oh, all right. Got one more to go. Six tokens. Elder, yeah. I found them all. Oh, you did? You should take that up the bell tower. Look at the time. I'll try again tomorrow. Look at the time. I'll try again tomorrow. Man. Let's go tomorrow, man. I'm saving the game up, man. I'll just come back to the day. <laughs> I guess this is getting late in the game. Me in our house already. Everything okay, Leo? Hmm. Yeah. Why do you ask? I realize this must be a big change of pace for you, so I wanted to make sure you're holding up okay. Other than a few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. Okay, just checking. I appreciate it, but you don't need to worry. All right. Hey, Shinhua. Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep talking? What did you do for fun as a child? 
Oh, a lot of things. Like what? As a child, simply going anywhere was exciting. Animals would gather around me and start talking. They... talk? Yes, I can understand them. Wait, really? They'd say things like, it's going to rain soon. Or, better gather these up before the frost sets in. Really? Mm-hmm. And then I'd tell the villagers what they said. It was useful information. Wh wow. Listen, Leo. I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? What did you do for fun as a kid? Um, well... I played a lot of hide-and-seek. Oh. Hmm? Is that strange? No. Kids in the village play that all the time. I had no idea kids in Japan played it, too. That is pretty neat, actually. Isn't it? You must have played, too, right? Every once in a while, yes. You didn't like it? It wasn't that. I just always managed to find my friends right away. Oh. Which was boring for me, and of course my friends would complain that I was too fast. Wow. So you were just that good? Where would you hide when you played? Hmm. Good question. I jump up on the roof and hide. Wow, were you a cat in your previous life or something? Maybe. I did climb the tree by our house a lot. Is that so? Mm-hmm. I fell out a couple of times too. Hmm, this boring ass talking shit. Alright y'all, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the game out. And I'll see y'all in my next video. video. Peace out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna double save it just to make sure.